Hi everybody and welcome back to our Edith Holden mini album. Um, I've really enjoyed making this, I really have. Uh, let's just have a recap, see where we are. This was the first page we did and it's the only page that's got any decoration on so far. There will be more decoration but when we've finished everything and we can sort of see where what's going next to what. So that opens up and it's got a nice place for photographs or journaling. Bottom fl flips open and similar um, there and this beautiful Edith page. It's just gorgeous. And that flips shut. looks like that. It's got a magnet so it stays there. And this is page two I believe. Um, just beautiful images and two very nice handy pockets for putting anything in. Photographs, brochures, um, tickets, anything at all that you know if you want to take this away for a week because you're going bird watching or whatever so it's just falling over against my leg and that's it um you know maybe you do want to keep little reminders of, of that week and these pockets are excellent really good uh this page which is probably my favorite uh, it's got this beautiful robin on and it flips up room for journaling or photographs this page and of course you can put a photograph over here I mean we are all very precious about Edith and we never dream of putting a photograph over there not at all um, but you know some people aren't quite so precious and would consider putting a photo there or if you don't want to do that you can get one on the back then this beautiful song thrush I love him and a really big space on the back for writing what you've been up to or adding a photograph or whatever and then here we have, uh, this is pure decoration. You could, if you wanted to, stick a photograph over that, but it really looks quite nice as it is. But just to make it useful, we've got a big pocket along the bottom here, a nice big deep pocket that you could get loads of stuff in. So that's that page. Uh, this page with the dog roses on, another of my favorites, uh, opens up like that and it's got another really big pocket there that you could pop photographs in once again or anything else and here you'd get a, a nice couple of photographs on each side or journaling so that's that page uh, this one opens like that plenty of space here plenty of space for photographs opens up like so And on the back of that, oh yeah, we've got this enormous tummy tuck, which is crying out to be decorated. But also, wouldn't it make a fabulous place for a photograph? It, you know, it really would. So we have to bear that in mind. We just want to show off Edith's papers. But, you know, it does have a use. And then this page that we made last time, the glorious poppy page. It's so, so pretty. And that opens up very simply, just like that. Uh, and this is a double spread in Edith, so I've used both the both pages and uh, put it like that. Once again, perfect for adding your photographs to. It would almost make me cry if somebody did that. Uh, and that just flips over and we've got the whole image there. So we're on to this page, page eight. Right, let me get my Edith books. And then we'll be ready to start. Here we are. I've got three on the go at the moment that I'm sort of cutting into various parts. So we'll see what we need. Right, for this page it is uh, four flaps, two on the top, two on the bottom. And they all sort of, um, one goes down, one goes up, one goes down, one goes up, or the other way around, whatever. Um, so I've cut them out. Uh, they're all cut out at nine and a half by six and I've scored at half an inch along the nine and a half side so they just don't reach the top which is what I intended um, I don't know why that's raggy so they're not difficult to get out uh, so just score uh, but fold in, crease in all your fold lines. I 
like that and just two will go at the top and two at the bottom it's as simple as that so let's just crease these in properly with a bone folder because this is craft and it's uh, got a bit of a mind of its own needs persuasion to stay where you want it to go and we must remember we need a magnet as well which I'm quite good at forgetting so two of these need to go up two need to go down like that and I think the best thing to do is to mark the centre of this and mark the centre of one of those and then once we've got one straight we'll be straight all the way. Sorry there's shadows around today. I really am intending to move my desk over to the window in which case then we won't have any shadows. Right so that's seven and a quarter so three and five eighths I reckon is halfway. So I'm just going to make a pencil line there and uh, that's six inches so I'll make a pencil line at three. And once we get that lined up then everything else will line up. Um, you know we can line everything else up against that. Let's just think about the magnet for the time being. Let's get my magnets out in fact. I'm going to get the stronger ones out because they're all stuck together. Uh, what does that say? Six. That's not enough. And this one's 7.3. Whoa. So I'll take one of these out for the time being. The, of the, the stronger ones. They're exact same size. They look exactly the same. It's just that they have a different pull ability <laughs> oh dear me they're always why is that sticking to that oh it's the magnet on the other page oh right <laughs> so I'd like that there and I'm just going to put that there away from the other magnets in fact I'm going to put the other magnets away in their box because they just everything just sticks to them it's a pain so ultimately I want I want an oh I want this this one from the bottom then I want one from the top then I want one from the bottom then I want one from the top right so Should have laid out another magnet that's what I should have done so the top is going to be the last one and the magnet wants to go on the inside about halfway and three quarters of an inch in so there and I'll stick that down now before anything else happens to it I'm remembering about them this time honestly so often I've forgotten about these blooming magnets which one are these no they're the weak ones right. oh I left them out it's more organized than I thought it was so I want one more there is a whole host of safety that you get with these I think the bottom line is don't let your children eat them I can understand. It's not what you want. <laughs> right, so then that's going to come from the top. Just 
move that aside now we know where it wants to go it's still trying to form an attachment with a central one so that's there and the one that I mark the mark on this one this one is going to go there like that this one's going to come over the top and that magnet's going to stick there that's the plan it doesn't want to but it's going to it really doesn't want to leave the other one okay so I think that's fine Time will tell, but I'm pretty sure that's all right. Okay, so let's make a start with sticking these down. So what, the one that's got the mark on it first, so that we can get all the papers square from there. So um, because it's construction, I'm going to use double-sided and I'm also going to use glue. Um, it's because it's construction and it's craft, and it really does have a bit of a mind of its own. bone folder so burnish that down into the card let's get this stuck on and this is our marker for the whole page so it wants to oh, I haven't put any glue on it just remembered in the nick of time So get that lined up perfectly, perfectly with your mark and perfectly on the bottom. That looks pretty good. Let's just hold it up and make sure that the level at the bottom, like that, which they are now. Open that up and crease it in. Lovely. That's great, okay. So now we want to put one on the top. Same thing, double-sided. And glue. Make sure you burnish your double-sided down when you first put it on. Otherwise there can be air bubbles and then it just rent, you know, not worth putting on. So a bit of glue because we might need to fiddle this around just a little bit to match up with with this one. So I'm just sort of holding it level with the sides of the first one that we put on. Darn it, it's caught a, a magnet. I think that's it there, but let's just make sure, not quite, you don't really want to go off on this one, because then they'll all be off. wants to stick to that magnet and it doesn't want to move which is what was making it all very awkward so that's that down let's just have one more check that we're okay yeah that's fine uh, what I have done however which I shouldn't have done is I've made this the inner flap the magnet needs to go on the outer flap 
it's it's a question of if it can go wrong it does go wrong with magnets with me isn't it i mean that's just what happens it just goes wrong i think it through and then i touch the wrong piece to the wrong piece let's see if i can get i can get the magnet off excellent i'm just going to put this piece of double-sided tape over there just to stop me keep sticking to it all the time right marvelous marvelous so that should be yeah that that's that's perfect it's much easier to deal with now that magnet's not there uh right so let's put the next bottom one on well actually let's not let's put this paper in first be easier when we've just got one flap so let's do the nice bit and select some beautiful Edith papers. Let me move that magnet out of the way. And see what we've got. Let's see what we've got left in this book. I don't think there's masses. I think I've plundered it quite a bit. There are some nice ones though. I mean, that's really nice, isn't it? I'll lay out contenders and then we'll see. That's pretty. Not so keen on that one. Well, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Or that one. I don't really want one with the month on. I might use those later on for something else. A sort of month project. That one we've already used in this journal. That's very nice. That one's very nice. And that's this. Yeah, that's the the opposite side to that so yeah I could use that so altogether we're going to need five that's very nice that's three. Oh, that's one of my favorites I love that one so can I get that one out yeah. Yeah, and I'm not too sorry about losing that. I prefer this. I really love that one. Um, oh, the lovely poppies. There's just loads that are just gorgeous. That's nice, but as I said, I don't want ones with the, the month written on it. It's a nice double page. Hardly a chore, is it, going through Edith, really? And I think we're into autumn and maybe the ones I'm, that aren't my favourites. I really do like those toadstools, though. They're very Edith, yeah. Let's have a look and see if I can get those in. Where's the centre? No. That's the centre. Okay, so let's just snip those out. Pop the other two books away for the time being. I don't think they're going to be pressed into action, which is excellent. Little nail scissors. Oh, the, the very perfect thing to do this is the... Um, quick unpick from a sewing machine but mine's packed up with some sewing machine upstairs so I'll just use my scalpel okay that should come out now should do should do no nope. Yeah, that's it, okay. Is that the page I want? No, it's the next page. It's this page, that's it. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got and what fits, what doesn't fit, etc. So at the moment, we're only really worried about these three. So, yeah, you know, they're the right width. And they're going to be the right height because we made the book to fit them. So they should be. 
so the only thing I would say is that these ones are narrower so that's going to be fine I'm sure that one will be yeah this one yeah I can lose some off there and this one mm. I'll have to lose a bit off there I think but yeah I think we'll be okay so which one do we want for our top flip which is the one that we're going to want to see the most of well I think that the mushrooms look fungi whatever they are look really good there I like them there um but for the last one the last top what do I want that's probably oh that one yeah that one Go for that one. Okay. Yeah, I love that. It's really lovely. It's very, very Edith. Okay, so let's crack on then. So, I can't remember. Does Edith fit in her small chopper or not? No. It's about a quarter of an inch too long. So I'm going to have to throw myself on my fiskers and hope that it's in a good mood. Sometimes it chops through Edith delightfully. Other times it just doesn't want to know. So let's hope it's in a good mood today. I want it just inside that crease mark for the centre of the book. Come on, Fiskers. Oh. I don't think it's having a good day. No, wasn't having the best of days. Let's just, let's do these the old fashioned way then. Let's get the cutting board out. That's a beautiful image in its own right, isn't it? Uh, but I'll pop that back over there with the others. Uh, let's do that and get, is that long enough? Yeah, okay. So... There we go. Um, rotary cutter would be useful, wouldn't it? <laughs> My finger doesn't have that power. So there we are. Nice and neat and tidy. No fuss. Typical. Right. See no reason why we can't stick that down. Did, were we inking round these? I kind of think we were. I think we were using tea dye. Seems to be a long time since I did the last page. I don't think it's that long, but it seems, seems quite long, quite a while ago. Right, so I'm not... Yeah, it was tea dye we were using. Distress inks, like all watercolour mediums, really, um, they, as they dry, they sort of fade back a bit. So, if you think you've got too much on, leave it until it's dry because it, it does fade back. So, after this page, we've got the decorating which there's not going to be much of really because we want to still give people the opportunity to put photographs in if they want and we also um, don't want to bulk out the middle pages top page yeah all right that's fair game you can add stuff to that <laughs> but um, the middle pages no you don't want to be adding bulk to the inner parts of the pages, that's what I mean, rather more in the middle pages. OK. 
Okay. I was just saying on the Mariposa one earlier um, that I made a mistake yesterday when I was doing the Mariposa and this morning I thought well I'll cannibalise it I will at least get the magnets out of it and I'd used a brad and stuff so I thought I'll get that out of out of that you know before I sling it in the bin and uh, I'll tell you I was most impressed with how strong the glue had held it was really um, really held on well so there we are let's just go around there Make sure it's stuck down. Okay, so we'll be putting cream paper on these um, pieces. And then we need to cover this with something, not that one, that's going to be the top. Um, maybe this piece. And get a little bit off the bottom there actually and still leave the top intact I think and mm, where do I want to cut this I'd quite like to get most of that convolvulus on because it's the pretty bit so right I'll cut it there and I'll cut it there Let's see how we get on with that. Oh, I was going to do it with a rotary cutter, wasn't I? So yeah, I can cut that off there. And I'm not interfering with any of the words. So that's good. And then down there. Make sure that you're square at the bottom. Got your mark lined up. And then this, which I'm having to cut into the page, but I've got no choice. So let's just check that that's good. Yeah, fabulous, like it, let's sink around it and get it stuck on. I'm waiting for a delivery man to come and bring me some Claire Fontaine card that I want for the next album. I can't tell you what it is because it's a secret. But I'm pretty sure you like it. Okay, that's lovely. I'm doing it again. I've inked it and I'm trying it for size. How is it going to have changed because I've inked it? I know myself doing that. Cover the bees up. Sorry, bees. so self-congratulatory you've made a mistake I need to just pick that up and I need to stick my other let's just put this bit of 
Must have taped down there. I need to stick my other flap in. What is going on? One of these days I'll get to the end and I won't have forgotten anything. <laughs> One of these days here. One of these days. I've lost my double sided. to cover the, um, the flappy bit. You don't want it on display. There we are. A bit of glue. A bit of glue and everything will be alright. Be like it never happened. that bit of acetate, stick this on here, absolutely over the other one, exactly over it, and make sure that it's square, like that. So that's square, that's square, that's square, everything's square. Great. Now we can stick it down. Dear, oh dear. So yeah, that's lovely. Now you can be self-congratulatory. A bit more glue in there, that wouldn't hurt. So don't forget to do the same thing up here. Um, so the, the bottom one goes in first, then the top one. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing something different to the very top one actually. But in the interim, we'll just go with what we've got. So this is what we've got. We'll just cut it in half. Makes it easier to deal with. So just inside the crease line. So I'm going to have to cut something off the width anyway. What lovely page of text. Ooh. Right, so let's see where we want this. Want a little bit probably off the bottom um, and that will leave the number intact which I quite like. There and there. Oh no, that's not right. I want that in a bit. Mm -hmm. Where am I going to cut that? About there, I think. Where's my eraser gone? There it is. Let's rub out that erroneous line there. So I'm going to cut that there and there. I think that's about the best I can do, really. So let's cut the bottom off first. This is it's there so yeah you get all the bumblebees and everything yeah I, I think that's I think that's fine on this side I am going to lose a little bit of that text but there isn't anything really that I can do about it Just going to have to lose it. Going to have to man up and lose it. 
Right, now before I stick this on, we all know what I need to do. I need to put the other flap on first in the back there. But there's something, I'm just going to ink around this while I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. I quite fancy making a, a double or a triple pocket on the uh, outside flap. And it's going to make the page quite thick, but that's all right. You can deal with that when you're looking at the binder. So I'll just have a have a look and have a think. Two pockets there. Uh, I'm using this. I actually used this before to make pockets with. I made um, a foldy out envelope. I can't remember the name of them now. So yeah, I could cut that and make two pockets. <laughs> yeah, I could. I could. So let's put. I think it'd be easier to do that actually before I glue it into place. So let's let's think about that. So I'm going to need another piece of craft to fit there. Where is my craft? Probably in the drawer marked craft. Just quite freaky, is it not? me I seldom have things in the right drawer and if they are in the right drawer they're seldom labelled that was when Mr F took a real fancy on labelling everything and he labelled the kettle and saw how many days it would be until I noticed that he'd labelled it yeah it was quite a few <laughs> so right uh, once again just for posterity let's measure this it measures six inches so let's get the scoreboard out. Well actually let's get let's get this big cutter out first. This, this won't argue with anything. Uh, six inches, so I want it cut to seven because I want to put a half inch uh, gusset. So let's cut that to seven. Okay, that's a remnant. Um, and then how tall do I want it? About there, maybe something like that. Uh, so I'll just put a little pencil line there. I don't want a flap at the bottom, a gusset at the bottom. I don't think there's any need for it really. Oh, I want that. I don't think the light on this will shine through there. No, but it does give me an idea of where I need to cut. I'll just switch that off, it's not serving any purpose. The craft's too thick for it to shine through. Right, so there we are, we've got that cut. Now get the scoreboard out. Honestly, all these tools that we have, it's amazing. So I'm going to score that at half an inch on each end. that can't not possibly be right I want it to be seven inches and it measures eight and a quarter <laughs> how is that in any way right well it simply isn't seven inches there I don't know maybe the other piece was the right piece Okay, so that should measure seven. That does measure seven. Score a half an inch on each of the 
sides on the longer side. And this will be for our gusset, for our pocket. There we go. Fold those in. Honestly, craft is really tough. It's tough stuff. And on the other side. Oh my life, come on. Right, so let's just check first that we're all right. Yeah, that's okay, I think. Yeah, perfect. So let's let's make go ahead and make the pocket up and stick it on. And then worry about whatever after that. <laughs> it's not a worry. We're not worried. Well, yeah, the magnet's stuck to my scissors. That's what happens. Yeah, I quite like this, the idea of this being a pocket that you can just stuff things into. You don't have to unlock the whole page to get there. side down first. I just want to cut off a little V at the top and on the other side. This makes a tidier job of it. I've just got one side and it's going right to the bottom so I want it straight up that edge and level with the bottom there we go right let's just get the towel out here comes my delivery man My delivery man, UPS, with my new card. That is service for you, I tell you, I just ordered that yesterday. And yes, later on yesterday as well. Brilliant. So that's fine, yeah, that's lovely. So I'm just going to unpick that and I'm going to try and remember to put some glue along the bottom because of late I've seemed to have forgotten to put glue along the bottom of every single pocket. I don't know why. I think it's just going to magically stick. So glue along the bottom. There we go. Right. So just take this, fold it in. We know it's the right size so we don't have any, shouldn't have any problems. There we go. Get the towel at work and really, <coughs> excuse me, really get that stuck down. Because craft is awkward. It's awkward stuff. We're going to use this one we said so we want to trim this off to the right width that we need now I'm just going to use this ruler to help me that's on the edge there so 
so I can move that across a little bit to there possibly yeah let's put them up there I'm going to trim that first it's going to be my first cut straight make sure you lined up with everything so that's now a remnant let's see how much I need to cut off the other side and how much I need well I don't want to cut anything off the bottom that's the point um, let's just mark that one there and cut that off we're going to cut through the page number but alas there's nothing i can do there we go okay let's get the eraser and just mark rub off that little mark that's there Okay, so where do I need to cut this at? Great hairy willow herb. <laughs> it's just such a funny name for a plant. A great hairy willow herb. <laughs> right, well that's the pocket there, but I want just a touch beneath it. So I want to cut that there. And really make sure you cut this straight. Okay, so let's try that. Just over the flaps of the pocket. So you get that. It's amazing, the last time I did this was with this self-same image, which is strange, isn't it? And then this is going to come here, like that. And then I've just got a little bit to cut off at the bottom, not very much, because we've used it up in the overlap of the pocket, really. So it's, it's nothing, but it's something, <laughs> so you need to cut it off. going to be our top flap it's really nice I like it and it's given us a really good pocket so let's ink around those stick them on and then go back to putting this flap in place So it's not a big fuss making that. You don't need ink around the bottom edge. Um, definitely not a big fuss making it, but it does look nice. So well worth the effort, I would say. So the next 
next video will be all about decorating and then after that we'll be binding her into her cover. Ooh, exciting. Come on Edith, don't let me down. pockets as you like on, on a page like this um, I just think one big one is probably more useful for photos brochures tickets that sort of thing because um, if you split it sort of into three or into four you end up with quite shallow pockets that aren't as useful as this. So I'm just kind of seeing where that goes with the pattern, the flower, and it goes there. And there we have it, a really nice, useful pocket. No fuss, it's just done. Right, where's the rest of my page gone? <laughs> oh dear. So that's that. So the next thing to go on is this page wants to be stuck, the flat wants to be stuck on, is the next thing to do. in the right order now hopefully we've learned by our mistakes but I'm pretty ropey at that learning by your mistakes I tend to make the same mistake over and over I don't know why I don't know why that is I just rubbish so I want that completely over the lower flap level and straight with the other flaps here yeah, that's Perfect. And that's going to be our top flap. Give that a good. <sighs> right, so that goes up and that comes down. Okay, so before we do anything else and forget. Let's put the magnet on here. It's not finding it. It's down here somewhere, I think. Ah, there it is. So, I need to get some double-sided. Put that non-sticky side down. make a better job of it than that, I really could. That's fine there. And press this one down. And there's our magnet in place. Hooray! <coughs> it's quite incredible. Uh, right, so what do I need to decorate next? This one, I think. And then that, yeah, that's right. So this one, so... Yeah, we were going to use this, weren't we? I was going to say, that's strange, that's all inked up. But we inked it up. We're ready to go. I 
I had reason yesterday, well actually it was this morning, yesterday I made a bit of a foul up on the other um, mini album, come as no shock to you. Um, and this morning, I thought, have I already told you this, that I thought I would unpick, um, which is the right side, this side. I'd unpick it and I'd, I'd salvage what I could out of it, you know, the magnet and um, brad and stuff. And it was stuck really, really well, which has given me confidence now in this uh, coal. I had confidence in it before, but, you know, real confidence. It was stuck very, very firmly. And the construction bit with the double-sided and... Um, the glue it was really stuck fast so was my thumb right so this is the next bit that we want to cover and this is what we said we'd use so let's see I think the main space is on this side isn't it yeah down there so okay let's cut this just inside the, the centre fold there put that in the remnants and let's just see where I need to cut this along down there yeah and for height well, I've got a fair bit of spare up the top, so I might just cut that. Yeah, I might just cut that off there. side first Mr. Streff had his second vaccination yesterday so so far so good he's feeling fine and even his arm isn't so so I'm really hoping that he doesn't get any nasty fever or anything didn't get anything well nothing much with the first one so I'm hoping it's more of the same with the second I didn't get anything at all I, I really honestly wouldn't have known I'd had it so that fits on there quite nicely it's really pretty image that isn't it so in crown there get that stuck on you've had your second vaccination by now because I, I think that Mr Johnson is talking about relaxing rules even further um, so you know we want to be as prepared as we can be for it oh that's so pretty let's get that stuck on sorry Mr Kingfisher once again you haven't made the, the grade I'm really sorry for you. He's always getting glued down, chopped up, whatever. But he never gets his day in the sun, which is a real shame. I've been lucky enough to see many kingfishers uh, in flight and fishing and just sitting on the bank. Uh, we used to live quite close to a canal canal basin actually and they obviously loved it there um, must have been good fishing I guess and 
and if you just waited a little while you were almost guaranteed to see one which is incredible so there we are and that's that one and then this one is the top that magnet's really struggling. Oh no, it's not struggling as much as I thought it was. No, we're all right. It is staying shut. Okay, so all we need to do now is do the, the cream inners. So we'll start with this one. And I've got some cream card here for that very purpose. have to be each piece is going to be a sheet of card we'll leave some remnants but pretty useless sizes I think I'd like to go ahead and cut four of these in this size in fact I'm going to do that I'm going to be really brave one two three they should fit they really should fit <laughs> and I can hear myself saying that to you when they don't fit but you know <laughs> let's see let's put the lid on my glue get my big cutter out and cut these down They're exactly square, you know. Time will tell. Right. see then let's see what we've got do they fit or do they not remarkably they do well this one does <laughs> that's not to say they all will but it's a good start this one on then I'm going to check that with this additional paper the magnet still wants to work because if it doesn't I might have to add an additional magnet as we've had to do before. I, th I think part of the problem is the craft I'm using is too thick really. I should have used just you know craft paper really more than this thicker card. It's playing havoc with my magnets. <laughs> put the stamps on afterwards there's no need for you to sit and watch me do that I don't think okay that's on nicely so let's let's put this one on that's kind of the middle though, isn't it, if the magnet doesn't want to work. Seems to work, but let's just place the papers where, they, where they'll be going and then check that it wants to work. I think I might be stretching it just a bit. And it's quite floppy it's quite floppy so um, given that I'm gonna add another magnet 
uh, and I think I'm going to add it to this this one here. So let's get another magnet out. Good job I didn't use the weak ones. I'd have had no hope. I've got a cracked magnet on the bottom of here. In fact, it's more than cracked, it's broken. So I'm just going to take that off and put it in the bin. And see if I can get one of these off. Come on. the magnet here it's there it's exactly where we had it before <laughs> of course it is I'm just going to take a new piece of uh, <coughs> of double-sided we shunned it when it was here before we said we didn't need it and we wanted it on the outside and now here we are putting it back in So that's where it wants to go. I'm just going to take that off. It's not serving any purpose. Stick that down. Put the magnet back on there. Um, oh, now I can stick it down the right way. Stick it down that way. This is the side that's going to be covered, isn't it? Okay, got there in the end. Right, so I can... Well, let me just check that my paper actually fits. Yes, it does. Okay, so a little bit of glue on that magnet, and I think that'll facilitate the... Stay in shortness of the page. <laughs> Lovely. Make sure you've got that bit around the magnet stuck down quite well. Just physically stick it down really quite well because it never wants to stick. If you've got something um, more in a more instant grab than Colo, uh, that's a good place to use it to be honest. I think that's fine, or I think it will be fine. Okay, right, that's that one done. So where are we now then? Everything's magnetised to everything now. Right, so the bottom goes up. The first bottom goes up, then that goes down. Then that's this one. I've actually forgotten to ink around the other two, so I'm not going to ink on this one either. This one for size, so I'm hoping. Oh, yes, cutting four together was the way forward. <laughs> it could have turned out to be a disaster, I'm well aware of that. <laughs> so, there we go, that's that, and then there's just the back of the top one. Let's just check, just in case. No, that's good.
let's just unpick that uh, release tape, put some glue on the magnet, lovely, and get this stuck down. make sure that that bit once again along the side of the magnet is well stuck down because it can be awkward it really really can if you're worried about it just put a clip in collars decided to erupt for reasons best known to itself I don't know why yeah if you're worried about it just put a clip on it um, this bit of friction like that will soon decide to stick. So that folds in and that folds in. Yeah, it sounds much snappier now, doesn't it? Yeah, that's that's much more. I'm much happier with that snap now from the magnet. <laughs> okay, so there we are, there's the outside. Um, that's just before it dries completely just check that we haven't got any bits of glue around that we don't want it, do, it does happen it's not your fault it just happens so there we go so there's our page so it's pocket on the front it flips up that way and I will put stamps on there it flips down this way it flips up that way and it flips down this way and in the centre we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous toadstool image, which is really nice. So, that way, that way, that way and that way. There we are. So that is page eight, done and dusted. So the next time you join me, we'll be decorating these all up. They don't, they're not going to get a lot of decoration two reasons one it's Edith the beautiful anyway and two um, the places to put photographs so we don't want to sort of encroach on that space that we're giving people so I'll see you again very soon in the interim behave yourself thanks for joining me bye